All right, so in this problem, we are trying to figure out if this reaction is at equilibrium yet, and if it's not, uh, which direction it's going to go. So the first step to this is always just write what is the formula for the equilibrium expression. So it's going to be K is going to end up equaling, so we can ignore this solid. It's going to be H2O cubed divided by the concentration of H2 cubed. And so at the end of this reaction, the H2O concentration cubed over the hydrogen concentration cubed, it's told to us that the K value equals 0 0.064. So when this is done, that ratio is going to equal 0 0.064. So what I want to do is figure out what is the ratio at the moment. So I know the water concentration is 0.37. So I can say, okay, 0.37 cubed divided by the concentration of hydrogen is 0.45. So 0.45 cubed. And I'm going to calculate this out. So 0.37 cubed is 0 0.05065. I'll round later. 0.45 cubed is 0 0.091125. So that comes out to be 0.556. So that is the value. Um, of the ratio now. We have a special term for this. We call this Q. In other words, what is the ratio at the moment? Not necessarily the equi equilibrium, it is Q. And this Q value is bigger than the K value we're trying to get to. So we're asking ourselves, what are we going to have to do to these numbers to make this Q value equal K? And the only way we're going to do that is if Q gets smaller. And so the way we're going to get Q to be smaller is we're going to make this number smaller and this number bigger. And that's going to eventually get us to our k that we want. So how are we going to, get, how are we going to make this 0.37 smaller? Well, that means that we're going to have to get rid of some water, and we're going to have to produce some H2. So this reaction is going to proceed. We're going to say it's going to proceed to the left, towards reactants. So let me give you an example of that. Let's say that some of this water goes and turns into hydrogen. This reaction goes to the left. Let's say that 0.03 moles of the water changes. So in other words, if I were to write um, an ice chart for this, I, C, E, and I'm going to ignore the other reactants for this ice chart just because they're not really going to play a role. Um, but so the concentration of water initially, we said, was 0.37. And the concentration of hydrogen was 0.45. So let's imagine this does shift to the left. Imagine the water drops by negative, it goes by 0.03. That means this is going to go up by 0.03, right? If 0.03 of this drops, it's a ratio of 3 to 3 or 1 to 1. That's going to go up by 0.03. So the new water concentration will be 0. This is annoying, 0.34, and this is going to be 0.48. So if we plug these new values into our equation from before, 0.34 cubed over 0.48 cubed. I'm just going to jump ahead and give you the final answer there. Divided by 0.48 cubed. I'm going to get 0.36 is my new Q value. Now this still isn't where I need to be, which is 0.064, but notice it is smaller than the original value of 0.556. So this reaction is going to continue. This water is going to keep dropping and this hydrogen is going to keep going up until this ratio here equals 0.064. So this reaction is going to keep going to the left until that happens. We don't actually have to figure out where it's going to stop in this problem, although that is something that down the line we might need to do. Anyway, so that is how we uh, determine which direction a reaction will proceed. Until next time, I am Derek Genova, and have a delightful day.